Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, we shall see examples using properties of logarithms. Let us say we have an example, and in this example, we want to solve this logarithm expression to find the value of the unknown quantity. And the expression is as follows. Log 9x minus 2. Let me write it a little bit more clear. This is 9x minus 2 to the base 10 is equal to 1 plus log x minus 4 to the base 10. And if we want to find the value of x, we're going to use the property properties which we talked about to be able to solve for x. So we know that the, uh, the, when we look at this expression, the logarithms are on both sides of the equation. So let us bring all the logarithm terms to one side of the equation and all the constant terms to the other side of the equation. So in here, we, we're going to subtract log, let me write that here, we'll write that as step number one. Step number one. On the left hand side, we have log 9x minus 2 to the base 10. If we were to subtract log x minus 4 to the base 10 on both sides, that cancels out on the right hand side and leaving us with negative log x minus 4 to the base 10, like that, is equal to 1. Okay. Now, we know the coefficient rule. Since we have a negative sign between these two logarithm terms, we can use it, uh, we can write it out as a coefficient. And what is the coefficient rule telling us? The coefficient rule is telling us that if we have log x over y, and if this whole thing is to the base b, we can write this one as log x to the base b minus log y to the base b. Right? So therefore we can express the given, express this part as a as a quotient and the way to write that is as follows log 9x 9x let me write that a little bit more clear 9x minus 2 divided by x minus 4 this whole thing to the base 10 is equal to 1 right now we know that we can express a logarithm in terms of an exponent and we, we have seen that uh, in our previous examples but again if we have log x to the base b as equal to y then we can express this logarithm as an exponent as follows x is equal to b to the power of y therefore we can we can write this expression as an exponent we can write it as 9x minus 2 divided by x minus 4 is equal to 10 to the power of 1. Okay, now we can simplify this. So the way to simplify it is as follows. 9x minus 2 divided by x minus 4 is equal to 10 to the power of 1 means 10, isn't it? So we can write that as 10 divided by 1. We can cross multiply these terms and then find the value of x. So the way to do that is as follows. 1 times 9x minus 2 is equal to 10 times x minus 4. And the only way, uh, unknown quantity here is x. So we're going to distribute the 1 to every one of the terms inside this set of parentheses, distribute the 10 to every one of the terms in this set of parentheses. So when we do that, this is what we're going to get. 1 times 9x is 9x. 1 times negative 2 is negative 2 is equal to 10 times x is 10x. And 10 times negative 4 is negative 40. Since we have x's on both sides and constant numbers on both sides, we will try to get all the x terms to one side and find the value of, find the value of x. So we're going to subtract 9x on both sides. Negative 9x plus 9x minus 2 is equal to 10x minus 9x 
9 x is what we are introducing on both sides minus 40 so therefore the positive 9 x and negative 9 x cancels out leaving us with negative 2 is equal to 10 x minus 9 x is 1 x or just x like that minus 40 we want to find the value of x we want to isolate the x term to one side therefore we're going to get rid of the negative 40 on the right hand side the only way to go do that is by adding 40 to both sides of the equation so plus 40 minus 2 is equal to x minus 40 plus 40 and this plus for the plus 40 is what we have added to both sides of the equation so as you can see the positive 40 and negative 40 cancels out leaving us with x as equal to 40 minus 2 is 38 and that is this is our answer we found the value of x we solved this logarithm expression uh, logarithm equation and then when we used the properties of logarithms we were able to find the value of x as equal to 38 this is the way we can use the properties of logarithms to be able to solve these logarithm expressions ex uh, log logarithm expressions or logarithm equations thank you for being with me um, uh, uh, thank you for being with me for these presentations we will have more presentations very soon